across Kaduna State, the Nigeria Labour Congress and leadership of the affiliate unions of the NLC are in Kaduna to press on their demand for the reversal of the sack of workers and the payment of those sacked about four years ago. Not a society that had a class mm. of less than 10% mm. that are actually exploiting 90% and they expect to have peace. Mm. I keep saying, yeah. Let them not think that even the armed forces that mm. is today protecting all of us, mm. time will reach that even the armed forces will also revolt. Of course. Because we cannot create an uh, 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 security situation and then bring them in uh, and then without also proper funding and then ask them to be killing uh, citizens. No. In solidarity, electricity supply, government schools and offices, banks, airports, as well as train stations have been totally shot as the NLC commences five day warning strike in the state. Reacting to the development, the Director of Center for Labor Studies, Barista Femi Aborishadi, described the premature compulsory retirement of all officers on grade level 14 and above, conversion of permanent employees on grade level 1 to 6 to casual worker status as anti workers policies. Under the civil service rules of Kaduna State, you can only retire or retire compulsorily after you have attained the age of 60 or you have put in 35 years in service. But as far as Governor El Rufai is concerned, by the way, the workers who are protesting today have changed the spelling of his L Rufai to hell, H E double L, instead of E L. So, as far as hell Rufai is concerned, if you have uh, put in 30 years or more, or you have attained the age of 50 years, whichever is, your, is, is applicable as far as information we got from the Nigerian Labour Congress is concerned. Such a person will be compulsorily retired. He advised the Kaduna State Governor to bow to the rule of law and reverse the policy, which according to him has grievous implications. It also has, it has its implication on insecurity. Kaduna State has become one of the most dangerous states to visit, to work, or to live. Obviously because of thousands that have been laid off over the years in Kaduna State. Those people who are laid off would have to survive one way or the other. So we argue that there is a relationship, there is an interconnection between economic insecurity and physical insecurity. In his words, the Chairman Trade Union Congress or your state chapter, Mr. Emmanuel Ugundino, expressed this player at the development. We in the labor movement, we believe that an injury to one is an injury to all. If we allow El Rufai to go with this, then some governors like him might want to take a cue. And we don't want people taking a cue of bad precedences. So we don't want Kaduna State to be the beginning of such. He maintained that the sack of workers will further fuel poverty and urge the Kaduna State government to consider the implications and the untold hardship the policies will bring. He said you cannot, you cannot afford to pay. And so the workers will bear the brunt. What happens to our governor? Can they come together? Go and meet this man. Okay, mister, you signed this, but we cannot afford it. What will you do? When Nigeria economy hit the wood, he knew how he bailed them out. Should workers bear the brunt of any negative effect in the economy? For strike is in response to reform plans by the state government, including the recent dismissal of workers. Anu Akomolafe, IETV News.